Hi friends, our uh, grammar tutorials number 278. We have just concluded a uh, discussion on non referential each. Referential and non referential each. Now, here we have got today referential and non referential use of there. If you look at the first sentence of the board, you will see I went to Chennai last week or I was in Chennai last week, then I met my long lost friend. So, the there in the second sentence refers back to Chennai. All, all, again, you can see uh, I was in Mumbai and I had an injury there. There refers back to Mumbai. I stayed in Mysore for three days. I was very happy there. There means Mysore. That is referential use. Remember that. Or you can say we have been to Canada. There it was very, uh, there it was very cold. There refers back to Canada. So examples for referential use. Or you can say take these books and, and keep them there. Keep them there. So there is a place. So it has a meaning there, means it has a reference. Oh, go and wait there. Go and wait there. That means that place, you go and wait there. Wait for me there. You wait for me there. Referential use. Or you can say, uh, keep those articles there. Listen to it. So that is. So stay there for some more time. Stay there for some more time. So, Referential use of examples for referential use of there. Now the second point today is non-referential use begins. And there you can see there is used at the beginning of the sentence. Beginning of the sentence is the place for the subject. And here what happens, you begin the sentence with there. That means a word without any meaning. It just fills the position or the slot of the subject. So there used in this way, there, T-H-E-R-E, used in this way, just for filling the subject position of a, of a sentence, you call it non-referential use or existential use. Existential non-referential or existential and in this case the sentence you have there subject position it fills the subject position it's a filler you can say and then it is immediately followed by forms of the verb to be or be as you can see in the board here i think oh, i hope that you can see it the forms of to be is am are was where Three present forms and two past forms. These are things we have already taken, we have gone through also. And then you can say like that there is a monkey on the tree. There are monkeys on the tree. See, there is the, there was a monkey on the tree. There were monkeys on the tree. But you can see there are boys in the class. There is a boy in the class. There was a boy in the class. There were boys in the class. So they are followed by forms of be. And again you can say, there was a king who was very kind. There is a king who is very kind. There are kings who are very kind. There were kings who were very kind. I think that is clear. That is the second point today. First one I told you, referential use. Second is non-referential. And this is the first point in non-referential use of there. And then second one is, you can see, there in the subject position, non-referential, followed by models, plus B. That is one. That is another use of there. First use of non-referential there we saw, they are followed by forms of B. We have given many examples. You can also see the examples here on the board. And now the second is they are followed by models plus B. For example, there must be a solution to this. There will be a solution to this. 
there would be a solution to this. There may be a solution to this. There might be a solution to this. There can be a solution to this. There could be a solution to this. There ought to be a solution to this. So these are models. Models, we had a very long discussion. You can go through my lectures. And then you have got uh, that the second, that is the second context where you use there without a reference or we say non-referential or existential use of there. See examples are there on the board. If I go uh, the right side, you won't be able to see me. <laughs> that is where I am standing here. Of course, you can see the body here, I think it is clear. Is it, can you see? Yes? Ah, here it is. And ah, now, next one is, next use of uh, there is, non-referential there is, did you know about yes or no question? Do you know yes or no question? Satish, are you there? Are you sleeping? Is he there? Is he okay? Uh, are they okay? These are the yes or no questions. In such cases, what happens is that uh, the answer part you use there. For example, you see there and to be the uh, the there and the answer part. You know you can use forms of to be, uh, and then you will see like this. Is there anyone to help me? Yes, there is. Are there anyone to help me? Yes, there are. See that? Yes, there are. Are there any? Yes, there are. There is repeated. Hmm? Along with the, the auxiliary. So, you, you have a question like this. Uh, uh, that is especially with the there plus forms of to be. Are there, are there, are there any, anything left, sorry, is there anything left, not are there, is there anything left, yes there is, so there, are there any friends accompanying you, yes there are, so that, yes there are, in both this you know, that is the question as well as the answer, non-referential, there is non-referential, why, if it doesn't refer to anything, but in the other way, as I said, remember the first one. I was in Mumbai. I had an interview there. That there refers back to Mumbai. Right? Take this, stay, stay there for some day. There is a place there. Stay there for some day. There has a meaning. But here, stay there. This is an adverb. So, uh, but uh, non-reference use just fills the subject position. That's all. And then you call it existential use, existential or non-referential. Now three, three examples we saw, three occasions when we, three examples are illustrating three uh, occasions when we use there. First is there followed by forms of to be. There is a boy, there are boys, there was a boy, there were boys. Second one, what was the second one I said? That is. There plus model plus B. There must be a solution. There, there, there will be a solution. There will be a solution. There would be a solution. Could be a solution. That is there plus model followed by B. That is the infinity. Where infinity B. And the third one is A yes or no questions. You repeat there. And the forms of to be. You have to use, you have to repeat. Uh, not the not the contracted form of forms of to be. Say for example, there apostrophe R will be the there is there apostrophe S will be there is not like that. There is. Is there anyone in the class? Yes, there is. Are there anyone in the class? Yes, there are. Was there anyone in the class? Yes, there was. Were there anyone in the class? Yes, there were. That you cannot uh, shorten it, that's the point you should remember. So, you saw three contexts in which you use, make 
the non-referential or existential use of there today. I think it is clear. For one, one minute, I will just uh, move out to the side, and then you can read the. You can also go through the board. All right. So you can see that here you have the referential use there or there. Then you have what is non-referential or existential there. Fifth, the subject position followed by a form of B. A, B, S, A, M, R, A, S, B, R. And the next one is there plus models plus B. And the fourth is positive answers to yes no questions. You have what the examples here. I was in Chennai last week. I met my long lost friend there. There, Chennai. Take those books and keep them there, a place. Second is, there plus forms of to be, there is a monkey on the tree. There are boys in the grass. There was a king who was very kind. There were many animals in that forest. Now the non-referential views again, there, model plus B. There must be an answer to this question. There, there will be, already we, have, already we have done, there will be, there will be. Next one must be, again use all the other models also. And the next one is, is there anyone to help me? Yes, there is. So, there is repeated with, along with the full form of the verb to be. Not the contractor form, that's the point. Full form, there is. So, first, referential use, then non referential one, non referential two, non referential three. I think now it is very clear. Okay? Now, we will see again till, till we see again. Bye, have a nice time, enjoy your life. But at the same time, please carry these thoughts with you of about COVID. Mask prevents the killer, distance prevents the killer, cleanliness prevents the killer, healthy life prevents the killer. Prevention is better than cure. Bye. Have a nice day.